lord, I got scared for a minute there. Holy shit. <laughs> My neighbor's tub upstairs broke. So I was like down here filming this video, right, like a minute ago. And I was like hearing all these loud noises and I was like, the fuck's going on, right? I was like, oh my gosh, like, see, do you hear it? Do you hear it? I hear it. <laughs> but I was like, the fuck's going on in my life right now? So I like went around the house and I was like, oh, there's a plumbing truck outside. I swear to God, I paid my bill. So I was like flipping out for a second. It was, it was dramatic. I had to go upstairs and be like, hey, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway. That's what I was talking about before I got interrupted, maybe not so rudely, because I thought something was wrong with my neighbors. <laughs> and you know what, I had two more things to show you guys, and this video is going to be like the meat though. But anyways, I'm going to start all over again, because <laughs> you guys don't know what I was talking about before. But this is just my Amazon slash eBay haul. I did actually do things from eBay that I wanted to show you guys, two of them will not be in the video, because one of them I didn't like. And the other one, it's just dumb, so I'm not going to put it on here because it's irrelevant to anything else in my life that I'm talking about right here, right now on YouTube. So, anyways, I'm just going to jump right back into this and get started, and I'm not going to pick up where I left off because then I would be done in like two seconds. <laughs> but, so, anyways, first thing that I got from Amazon, so there's like one thing from eBay on here, so I'm just going to show you everything from Amazon, and then I'll show you the thing from eBay, and then, yeah. Anyways, I just bought this little owl pendant. It's like one of those long chains. Um, I thought it was super cute, and it was like 20 cents, free shipping, and I was like, why not? Because I wear black most of the time at work, because I work in a salon, and I like to look professional, so I dress all in black, and I like to accessorize with some things that have color in it, so I bought this little owl pendant thing, and I can't wait to wear it, because I think it's fucking adorable. Although, I had to go through shit to get this, because... <laughs> Apparently, and this has never happened to me before, I shop on Amazon all the time, and I have never had one thing where I have had to sign for the package, but I had to sign for this. Well, I wasn't here when they dropped it off, so they took it back to the post office here in Elwood City, and then, so this morning, I woke up, and I was like, oh, I have to go to the post office today to receive my package, so I went there, and I got it. So, you know, little owl thingy, I go through it. The next two things are lipsticks from the brand NYX, and I actually, this one wore off, but I actually have swatches on my hand, but, um, so yeah, this one is in the color Castle, and it is just a pink color, that's what it looks like, it's not matte and it's not shimmery, it's more of just like a satin or whatever, I actually haven't worn it out, but I did wear it the day that I bought it, and I did like it, so, um, I would just have to find like the right eye look in my opinion that I can wear with it because I'm really like picky about my lipsticks and my um eyeshadows like I don't know, I'm just weird. <laughs> don't mind me. This next next lipstick is in the color America lipstick. It is literally called America lipstick. I don't even know if you can see that. I don't know. Anyway. I just just that purple right there on my hand. It is literally a frosty, purple, um, opaque, very creamy lipstick. It's not, like, the camera's not showing it true to color, but it is amazing. I actually have it on right now with another lipstick that I also own. I mixed the two. <coughs> so, yeah. Moving on. This eyeliner, I don't know what brand it is, but I fucking love it. It is. It's shipped from Hong Kong, and you can see on the bottom, it has, like, those little tiny symbols. It's just in the color black. This little thing, when you pull it out, is a cool liner, so I think that's amazing, and it is just a very black, cool liner. Um, the liquid eyeliner itself is a um, felt tip which I love, and it dries to a matte finish. It's this one right here, which also I love because I don't like my liquid eyeliners to look shiny. Sometimes I do, and I do own ones that, like, dry to, like, a really shiny finish, but that one is not one of them. And real quick, can we just talk about this packaging? Like, I absolutely love this packaging. I think it's, like, the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I've never seen another eyeliner um, look like this, so I think it's really cute. Um, the next thing, things are 
these lip and eyeliners. Um, the only thing that I will say about these that I don't like, there's 12 of them, by the way. They came in um, a group of 12. They were $5 on Amazon for all 12 of them. <laughs> the only thing that I don't like about these that I will say is that the names, like, they don't have names. Like, the names are numbers. Like, this green one right here on the end is in number 004, and that's the color. That's the only thing that I don't like about these is that the creativity was not there when they decided to name these. Um, and these are all very pretty colors. Some of them are matte, some of them are glittery, and I think they could have had, like, amazing names for them. Um, but they do um, have on here which ones are eyeliners and which ones are pencils. Like, the ones, the ones, like, that are green and blue and stuff. Obviously, those would all be eyeliners, and the ones that are more pinks and purples and nudes are the colors. And the nude ones can also be used as eyeliners, but I don't think that I would use something on my lips that I use for my eyes, so I do have certain ones that I do use for lips and ones that I use for eyes. Um, but other than that, they're a very creamy consistency. I'll swatch this little blue guy right here for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, this is a, I think it's a glittery one. No, this is that one. Um, they are very, very pigmented, as you can see in the color payoff. Amazing. They do last um, four to six hours. Um, I usually work anywhere between an eight and ten hour shift. If I know that I'm going to be working more than six hours, I do set this with an eyeshadow or with even a translucent powder works. Um, but I love these eyeliners and lip liners. I think they're amazing. The lip liners actually last a little bit longer than the eyeliners, but they're so creamy. Like, you don't really have to work or push on your eye to put these on. Um, they just literally glide on like butter. And like I said, for 12 of them, they were $5. So go Amazon or seller of Amazon. The next thing is the lip liner that I got from NYX, and the color is called 1000 Years. I did swatch this, but I kind of wiped off when I was running upstairs in a frantic emergency like state. Um, that is the color of it. It is just a taupey, uh, like a little bit deeper color nude lip liner. Um, I do wear this from time to time just to very lightly line my lips whenever I'm wearing a nude lip because I don't like my nude lips to be like super nude to where you can't tell my skin from my like lips. So this is the eyeliner that we use and I actually bought it for that reason. And this on its own was a five dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> These next ones are eyeshadow pigments and glitters and I missed it. What is it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Anyway, twelve of these were also five dollars. They're from Land Me or Lawn Me or something cosmetics. Um they do come these are all glitter pigments. These four are glitter pigments. So there's a purple one that's a glitter pigment, a green one that is a glitter pigment, a really super bright fun yellow glitter pigment, and a like a just a regular white glitter. I will say about these also that I don't like how they didn't put names on them. Like this one right here, this clear one. Regular old glitter one is called 27. Like, I don't think that you should have, like, all these fun colors when I have fun names. And, like, this one is 35. Like, name your fucking product, people. Like, what's wrong with you? And then we have just the other ones, and there's, like, green and brown. Like, I don't know. They're just, like, eyeshadow pigments, and they all come in different colors. Um, there is a fuchsia one, a dark brown, a blue. Well, actually, it's like a light blue. Um, another brown one with a little bit of red in it. A purple one. A peach one. A green one. And then a really light, like, baby blue one. And I know I, like, blew through those really quickly, but I'm not trying to have this video be 25,000 years long. But I will say they are very high in pigment. The color payoff is amazing. The glitter ones don't like annoy or like irritate my eyes at all so that is like a plus for me right there because most glitter pigments annoy the fuck out of my eyes for whatever reason but these ones don't um 
And then the regular just like pigments with no glitter, they are either matte or satin finish. And I have not worn any of these yet, so I would not know. I've just worn the glitter ones, but the satin and or matte ones, I have not worn any of them, so I don't know which ones are matte and which ones are satin. I can kind of tell by looking, but um, I have not worn any of them yet. So I just got them like the other day. I got all of these things like in pieces that I get them all at once, so. I'm going to take my coffee cup. I got a Dollar General for like a dollar twenty-five. And then the other thing that I got from Amazon, this was $5.30. This one was kind of a big deal for me. Only because, um, I don't know, I just love it. <laughs> the Flat Top Bougie Brush. Um, I don't know the brand. There, It is not Sigma. Um, the reason that I bought this is because ooh, <laughs> I am a bargain shopper when it comes to anything in my life, whether it be home decor, um, like shoes, clothes. I'm just a bargain shopper. Like I will go to consignment shops and sh like shop for clothes. Um, of course, I make sure that everything is great quality. Um, that's all besides the point, but this right here is not the Sigma F80 Flat Top Suzuki Brush. Like I said, I don't know what brand this is. If you want to go ahead and go buy the steps of the Sigma F80, right on for you, go ahead. I would buy it too had I not found this because I was actually on Amazon on my way to purchasing the Sigma flat top Kabuki F80. That's like a mouthful, whatever. But I was I was gonna get that brush and I saw this and I was like, well, it popped up when I typed in Sigma F80 Kabuki brush, and it's only $5.30, but the Sigma logo would be on here if it was a Sigma brush. It's not. But I bought this, and I was like, I love this brush. It literally has changed my way of thinking when it comes to applying my foundation because I... I don't know, before I was using the L flat top brush, which is actually supposed to be a powder brush, but I got this brush and I was like, oh my god, I fucking love it. And it has changed my whole way of thinking about foundation because, like, even before, like, I would have to take extra steps to not look cakey with this. It just literally glides on, and I feel like I'm wearing skin. It feels more lightweight. I don't feel cakey at all, so I really do like this brush. And I would basically say that it's the same thing as F80 but um just a little bit cheaper so if you're looking for a dupe for the f80 this is definitely one of them i don't know what it is but if you type it in like flat top the wiki brush on amazon or ebay this will pop right up but anyway moving on this next thing i didn't buy off ebay or amazon but i wanted to show it to you guys because i just want to let you know that i'm absolutely loving it and today on the same day i will probably make another video talking about my current favorite things you guys know i don't make those monthly because my thing my Everything basically stays the same, but I will be making a new one because I have been using these products because of what I bought off of Amazon and eBay. So, um, but this I just bought off the salon that I work at. It's an OPI nail lacquer, and it's called All Sparkly and Gold, and it is literally just a very sparkly gold nail lacquer by OPI. I'm wearing it on my nails right now. Don't look at them because they're ugly, <laughs> and I need to go get them filled, but this is what I have on them. And when I get my nails filled, I'm going to be like, can you put this on my nails, please? Anyway, moving on. Because I wanted to show you guys my little like grand finale for the end of my haul video because these are two things that I cannot see myself living without ever in the world of makeup again because I love them so fucking much. Um, this first one is, I'm going to save my favorite one for last. This one is my second favorite, but I'm going to show it to you guys first. And it is... Because <laughs> I touch it, but um, this is just a palette of 28 warm, like neutral eyeshadows. I love these eyeshadows. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love these eyeshadows. They are like the best things I could have ever purchased in my life. I love them. They give great color payoff. Like, I can't, seriously can't get enough of them. I've been using them nonstop. I have not reached for another palette since I got this one probably three weeks ago. Literally cannot keep my hands off of it. This color right here gets really good use, and these are all really good 
do for um, Mac and Makeup Geek shades. If you don't want to spend the money on those, even though Makeup Geek, you go. You stepped up your fucking game, sister. But, um, yes, I just, I love this palette <laughs> so much. And guess what? This was only $6. Free shipping, and I love it. So if I could recommend anything to you guys who love to use neutral colors and keep it more on the natural side, which is like more of a racing thing for me, but boom, I have it for you right here. I love this eyeshadow palette. They are so pigmented. They, the colors are like amazing. Even though they're nude, I mean, like you can just, I don't know, I love them. And they're, um, all of them are matte except for this one and this one right here. And then this one right here isn't matte either, but they're, um, satin. They're not like shimmery colors. But yes, I love this palette. So, yay. The super soap when I bought it, I got it in the mail, and I was like, I have to admit, do my makeup. I, like, washed off my makeup and did it all over again. We see that palette. I was so fucking impressed. You don't even ask. This is my absolute favorite. This is a highlighting blush and contour palette, and I love it so much. These two blush, uh, these two blush colors, like, I'm wearing, yeah, I'm wearing this one right now. Can we just talk about that? Can we just talk? real quick and then this is the other one they don't i don't know the colors like they don't have colors but can we just talk about how pigmented those are and like the colors are not being true on camera because they are way more pigmented than the camera's picking up on but i love this and like this color over here for me to contour with right now or to just add a little bit more visibility to my face is perfect i'm wearing it right now and because I'm so pale right now, this won't work in the summer months. So right now in these winter months where it's really cold and frigid outside and I'm super fucking pale with the ghost, this is absolutely perfect. So I love it. And this one over here and this one down here, I mixed these two together to be um, like a, I set my under eye concealer with it. And then just this one in the middle, I never have touched. Like I would use it for a setting powder, but it's still a little bit dark for me, even though it doesn't look like it is. But it is. Oh, look, okay. Yay! Yes, these are also, like I said, I'm a bargain shopper, so this is all, like, matte dupes. Like, this would be Emphasize, and this would be, um, oh, I don't even remember what the other one was. Oh, my friend Ray just texted me and said, I miss you, dearly. I miss you, too! Oh, Ray, you have to watch this video, because I'm letting you know right now, I miss you so much. I wish you could be here in Pennsylvania with me. I love you. But anyway, so yes, this palette was the last thing that I wanted to show you guys. I bought it off of Amazon. This is also six dollars with free shipping. So if you guys are looking for um, makeup that is inexpensive but of amazing quality, and let me tell you, like I've been using this for almost a month, it has not broken me out. And I have not had any funny like bumps or textures on my face. I have not had any like redness or anything like. And um. I just, I haven't had any of that, so I literally love those two palettes, and like the eyeshadows, like I said, they're, they glide on, they're amazing, they're super pigmented. I don't know, I just love them, like that's all I have to say about that, or some. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to pretend like I just did spill coffee on myself. <laughs> anyway, that pretty much completes like my haul, I just wanted to show you guys that stuff. It's not a lot, but it's enough to make me happy. So, yeah, anyway, um, if you guys want to see more haul videos like this video, um, don't forget to comment and subscribe. If you guys want to see the makeup looks that I'm wearing using my new palette, then I would be more than happy to show you. If you guys want to see it, like I said, just comment in the down bar. And if you, got, if you do, if I could speak today, if you guys do want to see the makeup look I'm wearing, just like this video. Um, find me on Facebook and Instagram. I will have everything, like, in the bottom bar down below so you guys can, like, find me and whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be in about an hour or so. I just have to do some things beforehand, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.